Hey guys, Balloon here. First and foremost, I'd like to apologize to all my supporters for not uploading videos for one month long already because I've been very busy with my university assignments. Now that I have some more free time, I'll make it compulsory for myself to release at least one video every week or two uh, to help you guys in understanding Dota better. Also, before we begin the video, I'd like to announce that I've just started my Patreon uh, for anyone that would like to support my work or would like to get coaching sessions with me. So do check that out in the description box down below together with my Fiverr page. Without further ado, let's get into this video. So I would like to show you guys four examples of uh, students of mine where they are last sitting, ability is very poor, and it's actually the result of a very bad habit that almost, I would say more than 90% of players below uh, 5k MMR uh, would practice. Even in the high MMR, you're going to notice this a lot, wherein people will click for the sake of clicking uh, when they feel like they have nothing to do. Okay, so I'm just going to let the video play out and see if you guys can spot the problem. So uh, look at this Stormbreaker here. Okay, these are all completely fine. Now look at his movement. Look at how he clicks. Look at his mouth. Uh, mouse. Look at his, look at how he moves. So if you guys notice, see he is actually practicing a lot of like left and right movement without purpose. It's very meaningless. So whenever you guys do this, you need to know that uh, you are essentially putting yourself further and further away from creeps that could make you very easily miss your last hit. Of course, in this example, he didn't miss his last hit, um, but in the future way, some more, he's going to miss a lot of last hits. Now, let me bring up another student's example. Now, again, notice what this Templar will do with uh, his mouse movement. Okay, look at how he moves, look at how he clicks the creep, look at how he moves around the creep. So, all these are still fine. Now look at what is, uh, not, oh, this is still fine. Okay, see this. Do you guys notice that? Like, look at how he moves. Because of that, he's going to miss his last hits and put himself uh, out of position to get hit like that. So if you guys can see this again, I'll play it back again. Look at his mouse movement. Look at his cursor. There's one click up, one click back, one click forwards now. Back and forth, back and forth. This is very meaningless movement. Because every time you guys do something like this, you need to know that you're putting yourself out of position for the enemy to hit you. Also, whenever you run further and further away from creeps, by the time you want to run into the creep, you're already too far away to take the last hit. That's why if you play into better players, it feels like they're always doing things faster than you, their last hitting ability is better than you. Because they are not far away from creeps when the creep is about to die. Okay? This is the result of a very very bad habit, which is uh, the ability of like not having auto attack on always. I'm going to explain further why this is superior compared to standard or never uh, in a demonstration lobby later. Okay, so I'll bring out another example now. So look at the way he moves. Even when the last hit is not present, even when the deny is not present, even when it's like a 2v1 scenario against him, look at how close he is to the creep and uh, look at how he moves around the creep. Okay, so pay attention to his mouse movement. Okay, see this? Right? Now if we go back and zoom it, uh, like slow it down, look at how he moves his mouse. So he's moving up, back, left, back, right, up again, and then he gets hit like 10 million times. So you guys cannot do this because whenever you do this, you're putting yourself extremely close to the enemy's vicinity to hit you. If a creep is not within like a uh, death, death uh, health bar, you guys shouldn't be close to the creep and just be like clicking in circles. Because if you click, every time you click, if your mouse hovers to somewhere else and the creep is about to die, uh, and you don't have auto attack on always, you might accidentally even misclick and run forwards. Okay, you might find yourself doing this a lot. So because you do this, now the enemies will hit the shit out of you. So let's see some more of this player's uh, movement in lane. So this is another scenario uh, where this player, even when he has nothing to do, he feels the need to have to walk, the need to have to click something, the need to move. Alright, so let's play this out. So look at his mouse movement. The aggro is perfectly fine. Now, 
Look at how he clicks around the lane. Look at how he moves. And look at how he gets hit as a result. Okay, this is very unnecessary movement that serves no meaning, uh, no meaning, no purpose. Every time you guys want to move, it must be with intent to move up. Either you want to aggro to last hit, or you want to move up to trade the guy. You cannot just click for the sake of clicking. You also cannot uh, move to the guy for the sake of moving, or move to a creep and just circle around the creep while the creep is waiting for, while you're waiting for a creep to get last hit. Right. So this movement, uh, again, I'll show you why it's bad. And all these players, they have standard uh, auto attack on standard. Now this will be a mid uh, Dawnbreaker uh, situation where this guy will also do the same thing. He doesn't have standard. Uh, he uses standard auto attack and then he just keeps moving for the sake of moving. Even when it serves no purpose, even when there's no last hit, no deny, he's just circling around creeps back and forth. Okay, so pay attention to what he does. So the aggro is fine now. Look at the way he moves. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and gets hit like shit. Okay, so this uh, this thing, this habit here can actually make you guys miss a lot of last hits. It can also make you guys put yourself out of position to get hit a lot. Because you are always in an unfavorable position, or you're either too far away from creeps. Uh, and then once the creep is within last hit, you start moving. Suddenly, you hover your mouse over and you misclick. Right, you misclick or um, you hover over and you get. Uh, by the time you reach there, your creep already died because you're too far away. Now I will demonstrate the differences between auto attack on never, on standard, and also on always. Okay, so the first option, let's test out what is never auto attack. So this one, as long as I don't issue a, a command for my hero to move, a command for my hero to hit something, even after killing a thing, the hero will still do nothing. Okay, so now I move, doesn't hit anything, doesn't hit anything. Then I uh, click this creep. After it kills this creep, it's still gonna stop. I need to deny again manually. Still gonna do nothing. My hero will not do anything. Let's say I look elsewhere. Oh, now I miss the last hit. Look elsewhere, now I stop farming a jungle camp. Okay, this is never. So you always need to be like clicking something to move like this. This is how the bad habit will develop because never and standard are quite similar. The only difference from standard and never is that standard you will keep hitting creeps after a creep has died. Okay, so let's see what a standard is now. This is standard auto attack. So again, if I move, let's say I move, I don't do anything, hero will not attack. Unless I issue a command, let's say I hit this thing. After this thing dies, then it will turn to the next creep, right? But the moment I press stop, or the moment I move, my hero does nothing again. So let's say I want to do this. Oh, see, I'm a bit slow already. Well, I'm far, I misclick like this. I click in circles like what people usually do, and I run to this. Again, a bit slow. And then a bit slow again. Okay, so this is standard. Now you guys see what is always auto attack. So I do nothing. I let the hero just do things itself. So I just click, hero move. Okay, hero hits here, hits the creep, hits the creep. Even after the creep dies, hero still hits another creep. Now if I move, hero will turn to the creep again. I press stop, hero also turns to a creep. Okay, so you will want to combo this together with this option of disable auto attack when stop is held. That means whenever you're doing nothing, make sure you hold uh, one finger, like your uh, left finger, like, like your left hand, if you're, le you're right-handed on the mouse, your left index finger, or your left uh, middle finger needs to always be on the stop button. Okay, so uh, this is how I do it. So one finger is always pressing down S as I move. And my hero will do nothing, do nothing. But it always turn the moment I let it go. You see this? Now because of that, I'm always like turning towards a creep. I don't even need to click it. This is very convenient. This makes it so that you don't need, you don't need to like A left click or you don't need to misclick like this to move. Because your hero always move to something. Yeah, so like this, stop, stop, stop. Creep is dying, okay. Of course, you want to combo this with um, A plus left click, uh, right click, and also letting go of stop to auto attack a creep. Okay, so this will add another option of killing a creep to your arsenal instead of just depending on A and left clicking the ground or A left clicking a creep or 
uh, right clicking a creep. Okay, this will allow you to just let go of S and the hero automatically turn to a creep. This will just hasten everything to you. You will now reach a creep faster than the enemy by like one second. While the enemy is clicking somewhere, your hero is really moving to the creep because it turns. Okay, like this. It turns. So I hold S, I let go S. Hold S, let go S. Always have that start uh, advantage movement to reach the creep faster. Okay, so I hope that helps you guys understand the differences between uh, auto attack on never, auto attack on standard, and auto attack on always. And also why, in my opinion, always is better compared to standard and never because it allows you to reach a creep faster due to your hero will automatically turn to a creep and then you will not really like uh, move a lot because you will get rid of the habit of right clicking when your hero just moves by itself. Of course, there's gonna be some players or like a lot of pro players that are using standard as well. This is your personal preference, but if you feel like it's not working out for you, uh, do give the auto attack on always a try and see how it works out for you. If it works out for you, uh, good for you. If it doesn't work, work out for you, then just stick to standard and try and improve on other basics instead.